Hello. So in this video, I'm going to uh, show you the process of creating a Raspberry Pi SD card for your Cosmic Pi by downloading the image file from the internet and then expanding that image file, copying it uh, byte by byte to an SD card and checking that the copy worked correctly. So first let's make a directory called Cosmic Pi uh, Image, uh, Cosmic Pi Image Demo. And when we've made this directory, it's empty. We're going to uh, use a program called curl to download our uh, image file from the internet. So we use curl with the option dash JLO. And you can see there I've posted the, the link for the download. And now it's it started downloading. It's a two gigabyte file. So it's gonna take a few minutes depending on your connection. And what we'll do is we will skip in the video and we will jump to the next um, the next stage now. So now I've downloaded the file and you can see there it's uh, cosmicpi.img.gz. So this is a, uh, a GZ compressed zip file and we're now gonna use a program called uh, GU uh, uh, nzip or gunzip to uh, expand it. So we just type in gunzip with the name of the file to expand and again, this is going to take a couple of minutes depending upon your computer. When the file's expanded, uh, it comes to about five uh, gigabytes. So make sure you have enough space on your hard drive. And there we go. Here's the uh, 5.4 gigabyte file uh, expanded. So this uh, is now a, an image file which we can transfer to an SD card and it will make a bootable uh, device. So now I'm going to do sudo fdisk, which is uh, will list us the disks. Uh, so you have to do this as a sudo user because it requires a high level of, uh, of system access. And here we can see all the devices that I have on my computer, a lot of loop devices for the snaps. This is uh, an Ubuntu system. I've got my main um, drive, which is uh, MMC BLK. And here we have one. So I'm using a 16 gigabyte SD card. And on this system, it pops up as dev SDA, uh, which is 14.91 gigabytes, which is about the size you would expect for a 16 gigabyte card. You need to be extremely careful at this stage to make sure you correctly identify the device you want to use. Uh, if you put in the wrong device, you can end up wiping out your system. So please don't do that. Uh, if in doubt, double check. You can double check by unplugging your device, doing a new sudo fdisk-l, and checking that whatever it was is gone. Plugging it back in again, checking for the new one that's there. So now we're using sudo uh, dd. Uh, dd is a byte copy program. Uh, bs uh, 512k means we set the block size. And then if is input file. So we use the expanded image, uh, cosmic pi uh, 1.8.img. Uh, img of output file, so dev slash sda, and then status equals progress will give us this readout you see at the bottom, and it's running at about uh, 60 megabytes a second, which is pretty fast. Uh, the speed will vary depending on your machine. It could take anywhere from two to five minutes, uh, depending on the speed of your PC and the speed of the SD card you're using. And now it's finished. So uh, what we have is all of the data is copied to the SD card, and we now have an image which is, is ready to go. And I'm going to type in a final command, sudo sync. So sudo sync empties the buffer to make sure that any data that was waiting to be written uh, gets written to the device. And at this point, it's safe to unplug your SD card and you can go and put it in um, your Cosmic Pi. Before we do that, we're just going to do another check. So another sudo fdisk-l. And here you can see again, uh, we have our dev SDA and it has these two partitions on it. So this is how it should look when it's finished. Uh, SDA1 which is a small uh, fat partition, and uh, SDA2, which is the Linux partition, which is the main partition for the uh, Linux installation on the Cosmic Pi, and that contains Grafana and InfluxDB and everything that we need. So we can now unplug it and put it in and boot up. Something else to notice maybe is that the main partition is only 4.9 gigabytes when it's a 15 gigabyte card. And you're thinking, well, why is this? Uh, this is because uh, obviously it, it takes time to copy things across. So it's better if we can 
remove the blank space from the image before we make it. You might notice when you first boot your uh, device from this that the Wi-Fi network will appear and then a couple of seconds later the Wi-Fi network will disappear. That's because the first action that happens on boot is that your device resizes to the full um, 15 gigabytes. So however big your SD card is, it will fill up all of it. And there we go.